This news update is brought to you by... Say hello to Shanta. Shanta is an entertainer, but she also loves to be entertained, which is why she has Flow TV brought to her through Flow's 100% Fiber to the Home Network. It's great for busy Shanta because she can control the time she watches her favorite shows, playback from the start in case she missed it, or even record with cloud video recording. And with her Flow Services bundle, enjoys much more for much less. Visit any Flow retail outlet. Call 1-800-804-2994 or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. It's Friday, May the 6th, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. In our top story, close to 2,000 public sector employees whose group medical insurance cover expires with the Insurance Corporation of Barbados at the end of this month can now breathe a sigh of relief. The bargaining agent, the National Union of Public Workers, has now secured a new insurance broker that will cover their medical needs from June the 1st. The union's General Secretary, Rosalie Smith, revealed to Barbados today last night that the National Council decided during an emergency meeting yesterday evening to contract Sagico as the new company. There was concern that time was running out for the affected workers to secure continued cover. Uncertainty continues to hang over the planned transition of the Customs and Excise Department to the state-run Barbados Revenue Authority, Government's Revenue Collection Agency. The island's largest public sector trade union has warned the Frontier Steward Administration that its members will not become part of the BRA unless a number of issues were settled. Now, the deadline for civil servants seconded to the BRA expires on June the 30th, and Acting Deputy General Secretary of the National Union of Public Workers, Wayne Waldron, has made it clear that the vexing issues must be resolved by the deadline. One of the union's demand is that a number of vacant posts at customs must be filled before the transition is even considered. We are hoping that we can get the terms and conditions concluded and also the issue with the pensions. We have written to the Ministry of Finance and also Civil Service to have some amendments made to the pension act in order that workers continue to enjoy the same pension benefits they have been enjoying as officers of the public service. So that is another issue that we are still awaiting that our amendment to be made or that provision to be put in place so that they enjoy the same pension benefits. So we are not at a stage to advise the workers to make a final acceptance of employment because we will want them in accordance with the Employment Rights Act to have clearly spelled terms and conditions of employment. Amid the worsening rift between him and teachers, which threatens to totally disrupt this island's school system, the ruling Democratic Labour Party has thrown its full support behind embattled Minister of Education Ronald Jones. In a press statement signed by General Secretary George Pilgrim, the General Counsel of the party, which is led by Prime Minister Francis Stewart, made clear where it stood in the ongoing impasse that has so far escalated to the level of a work to rule by teachers, with the Barbados Union of Teachers also leading calls for Jones's dismissal. However, based on the tone and tenure of yesterday's statement, Jones is not going anywhere. Furthermore, the Stewart-led party is not about to be dictated to by any union, even if it means more disruption to what is currently being described by teachers as a broken school system. In sports now, the 2016 Pine Hill Dairy-sponsored netball championship games will shoot off at the stadium today. Yesterday, 39 primary schools turned out for the official launch. One of the innovations for this year's competition is the merging of zones bearing the names of former outstanding netball players. In more sports news now, former England captain Michael Vaughan has described plans to introduce a points system for the summer series against Pakistan and Sri Lanka as nonsense. It is expected that a system will be introduced to award points for tests, one-day internationals and 2020 with an overall winner decided. I think it's nonsense. I really do. I just... I sometimes think that there's, there's many jobs created which is great and they do a wonderful job in administration but sometimes too many brains around the real room will, would complicate it because I mean, who's going to be the captain on the podium? We, we sometimes have three captains, 
there's three different sponsors. Which sponsors are going to have the logo when you lift the trophy? Three different style of player these days. What are you going to have? 45 players on a podium. I think it's nonsense. There's regional and international news after this short break. Your first friend, your first love, your first teacher. Show your appreciation for the first lady in your life. Send a photo of you and your mother to we love you mom at barbadostoday.bb to be featured in our special Mother's Day photo album and for a chance to win some exciting prizes. To mom with love. We are back with news from the region now. About 100 Muslims from Trinidad and Tobago have traveled to Syria to join the group known as ISIS. British diplomat Arthur Snell is quoted as making the claim in the British tabloid The Daily Star. Snell claims that ISIS is turning to recruiting in the Caribbean as the terrorist group's manpower continues to thin to the lowest numbers seen since 2014 due to fighting in Iraq and Syria. Caribbean fighters are being featured in propaganda videos from ISIS as the recruitment drive is stepped up. 1,000 safety and security officers will be placed in public schools across Jamaica this September. The government's director for safety and security in schools, Assistant Superintendent Coleridge Minto, says safety and security is part of the strategic priorities of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Minto says the program is constantly under review and authorities expect to see some results in the coming years. He pointed out that greater emphasis will be placed on uniformed groups to increase discipline in schools. On the international scene, the wildfires raging through the Canadian province of Alberta have grown into a behemoth blaze that has consumed an area bigger than New York City. Alberta Premier Rachel Notley says they have now scorched 85,000 hectares, 228 square miles, and by comparison, all five boroughs of New York City add up to 304.6 square miles. Notley warned that the 48, 49 fires that should be, which have already forced the evacuation of the city of Fort McMurray, could spread and devour more territory because conditions are still tinder dry. The fire here is raging, now 10 times larger than yesterday. Tonight, Fort McMurray is up in flames. This, our first hand look at the firefight, a battle crews are often losing. Entire neighborhoods are decimated. Oh my God! And overnight, more heart pounding evacuations. Now, nearly 100,000 have fled their homes. With cars abandoned along highways, thousands are sleeping in cots, nowhere to go. All you see is red flames. It's, it's pretty scary. In the town of Anzac, women, children, the elderly, evacuated for a second time, bust five hours away. It just sucks going from one vehicle to another and town to another. Who knows if it even goes further. The flames are still racing through neighborhoods today. 49 wildfires burning in Alberta, many of them out of control. And finally this story. A near four-month-old boy whose name is Hong Hong and lives in China has 31 fingers and toes. The infant was born in January with 15 fingers and 16 toes. He also has two palms on each hand and no thumbs. Doctors diagnosed Hong Hong with polydactylism, 
That's a congenital condition that happens in humans, dogs and cats, giving them extra fingers and toes. The boy's parents are trying to raise enough money so their son can undergo the life-changing operation. And on that note, we end our Barbados Today morning news update. However, you can join us again this afternoon for more. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune into Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and the sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.